this video, I want to talk some more about using open strings for drones and this technique that it's not mine really, but I kind of discovered it when I needed to cover Lily Allen's It's Not Fair. And uh, since it's a country song, I decided to make my guitar sound like a banjo. So in this example, what I'm doing is, this is an uh, interesting picking technique. What, what you have to do is you have to, I'm using my open E string throughout. These are the notes on the B and the G string. But the cool thing, the hard thing with the pick is to be able to play on the G string, then kind of fall onto the B string. And then using the middle finger, pluck the open A, uh, E string. And uh, I mean, I'm not an expert at banjo playing, but to me, when, when I hear banjo, I hear a lot of open strings, a lot of kind of drone notes. So that's... The idea here, using an open E string does not work for every single key, obviously, but if you are in a key like A or G and uh, B maybe, it will work, but it's ideal for your key of A. Alright, so that's that. Then another technique that is similar is from another song. The song that I recorded the video for a couple days ago. The chords in the chorus are D minor and then A major. So you can just play or you can do this kind of cool melody using my favorite parallel six. So I'm doing, see, I'm playing the B string and the D string using this uh, hybrid picking technique where I'm using the pick on the lower string and using the middle finger on the higher string. See, I'm skipping a string, so I'm doing this. But to make it sound even better, I'm... Ring, I'm playing the open E string throughout, like this. See, notice it. At some points in time it's dissonant, but ultimately it resolves itself beautiful beauteous chord so just some ideas for you know taking simple chords and making cool little melodies and that's my banjo kind of open string drone uh, chordal thing there you go